So this is just gonna be a fun video because I was watching the MKBHD Studio 2 a, a few weeks ago. You can just look it up here if you want to. And in this video, MKBHD just explains all the all the things he has in his studio and he's just using to edit his videos. And I was just noticing his um, input setup is basically the same that I'm using for a couple of months now. So he's basically using a Logitech Master 3 as well as Keychron K2. Um, mechanical wireless keyboard and I was just asking why is MKBHD one of the biggest tech youtubers which just shoots everything in 8k on a red cinema camera and just edit everything on a Mac Pro and two um, Apple screens which is a totally insane setup after all and it's just using it specifically these two things and I just want to answer this in this little video here so let's just get started right after the intro Here we go and welcome to the idea of technology. My name is Michael and today we're just talking about the MKBHD setup and why he's probably just choosing the parts he's just choosing and what you can expect um, buying them and also just getting started. And when we're talking about input, it's just pretty easy. I need to mention two things in the beginning. The first thing, uh, I don't have a magic trackpad because I'm not a Mac user. I'm just used Windows, as you probably probably already see here on my keyboard. So um, this is now not the case we're talking about because MKBHD is basically using the trackpad to use gesture controls on his Mac, which is just totally fine. But we just want to focus on the real input devices like mouse and keyboard. And that brings us just perfectly to the first point, the mouse. And the funny part is of this video, um, this is not the most interesting part to talk about because I already made a video about the Master 3 and the Master 2S. You can just look it up here if you want to. But basically when we talk about um, getting the right mouse for your Mac or your PC, um, if we just take a look, the way you need to charge your Magic Mouse, you basically know everything you need to know because I just hope Apple will fix this one day. But um, till today, it's just a little bit, yeah, it's a strange way to charge a mouse. Let's face it that way. But nevertheless, and basically the Logitech Master Series is just the way to go when you think about creative work. And so basically everyone I know who's using it just to get their office work done or just also just getting their creative work done and um, editing software or just going to uh, Photoshop or something like this, um, you just going for a master mouse at the end because the good part is you can just pair it with three different devices, which is just pretty cool here on the back. So you can just switch between different uh, Macs or PCs if you want to. And you also have just USB type C in the front. Finally, after the Master 2S, which has just micro USB. And probably the most important part for MKBHD is obviously the fact that it's matte black. So matte black, everything is the goal. Um, and he also just gets, and that's the second point I just want to mention, he also just gets um, their, his unique versions, which is just branded um, MKBHD um, logo there, and as well um, some special keycaps on his Keychron. I don't have this here, so this is not exactly the uh, um, MKBHD setup, you can just get it, but um, it's just pretty close. So MKBHD is right-handed, so that's just perfectly fine to go for the master because um, as you can see, it's obviously just made for people who are using the right hand to use their PC or their Mac. Um, if you want to go for something else, you need to use the Anywhere, for example. This is just a symmetrical mouse where you just don't have this problem. And the master is just a no-brainer because you can just really focus on your work. And sometimes, uh, I also mentioned this in my review, the thumb, um, the thumb wheel can just get a little bit messy because sometimes there's a slight movement inside this wheel, which is just a little bit weird because you stop scrolling and the screen just continues to scroll because the sensor inside is just a little bit confused. But overall, this mouse is just perfectly the best fit. And I think for the money they charge from Logitech, this is just still the way to go for if you really want to be productive and have an ergonomic mouse. Okay, this out of the way, um, the most uninteresting part is the mouse obviously because um, yeah, you cannot do anything wrong. But now we're just more focusing on the really interesting part of this video. It's the mechanical keyboard. And I also just followed MKBHD to see his full journey to go through the keyboard. Um, he was just choosing and just choosing the right keycaps he wanted to. And he ended up using a Keychron K2. And there are uh, 
some reasons I can totally understand why he is just going from this specific keyboard. Because on the other hand, you could just probably, um, I've also some other solutions here right in front of me, probably just go for something like this. Okay, this is a wired solution, but this is also just a budget-friendly mechanical keyboard. And as you can hear, um, first of all, it's a German layout, but as you can hear, this now has blue, just blue switches, um, cherry switches, or he probably could have gone for something pretty specific for the Logitech mouse. It's just something like this. Um, it's the Logitech Craft keyboard, which is also really popular. He also has a, have numpad, which is just super huge, some function keys over there, as well as this really special knob here on the side, which I really appreciate because you can just use the style to do some other controls in Adobe Premiere or whatever creative tool you want to use to do some controls you just normally would have done manually with your keys or just with your mouse. So this is just really neat and also USB Type-C. The design is not the similar to the Master 3, more likely similar to the Master 2S, but I also like um, this um, keyboard here, but at the end it's wireless, but it's not mechanical and you're just really limited. Which brings us now perfectly to the point why the Keychron K2 is just the perfect fit. Why the Keychron K2 is just the perfect fit to go. There are so many reasons and I just want to be really quick here. The first notice I need to make here is this is the Keychron K2. You, at the moment you're probably just watching this video, you can also just go for the Keychron K3, which is just a slimmer and just way more low profile keyboard if this is just too chunky for you. Um, also just check it out, I will put a link down in the video description because it's currently just funding on Kickstarter or Indiegogo. I'm always confused on which platform, but the Keychron K3 is probably also way to go for you. And I have here the Keychron K2 version 1. There's also a version too. Um, you can just probably watch the video from 9 to 5 Mac, which is just pretty awesome. He explains all the differences, but in summary, really short, um, three big differences. This one here in front of me has Bluetooth 5. The Keychron K2 version 2 has Bluetooth 5.1. The second part is it has an inclined bottom piece here. We can just look it up in a second and also just some feet that are more versatile and also the caps lock here on the left side also now is possible to be eliminated when just pressed so you always just know if caps lock is activated or not if it's not visible in software. So these are just basically the three big differences between the version 1 I in front of me and the version 2 you can probably just buy on on the side from Keychron. And when we're talking about buying things, this keyboard is just really in inexpensive. If you just go for the basic model that has just a plastic frame and just white backlight, we're just talking about $69, which is just pretty nice. And on the other side, if you just go for RGB, it's $10 more, $79 but I would absolutely prefer or just recommend you that you go for this version I feel in front of me, which has aluminum frame, which just feels way more premium, a little heavier, but super stiff. And this is probably the way to go. And with the aluminum frame, you will always get the RGB you were just probably looking for. Okay, why is this so awesome? And um, the layout, as you can see, is just smaller than the other two keyboards I was just showing you. You have no numpad. Um, all the controls are on the right side, it's just super small and even the arrow keys here are just um, integrated into it and that means you have a lot of space on the right side just to use your mouse here, which I just really appreciate because I just always have my uh, shortcuts here on the left side when editing a video and the mouse is not hitting um, the numpad on the right side, so I really appreciate the feature the feature that is just super compact. And even though it's just super compact, on the other side, you probably get the biggest battery inside this wireless mechanical keyboard. That means we're talking about 4,000 milliamp hours battery, which is a super high um, capacity when we think about that the Logitech Craft, I think, has just 2,000 or 3,000 milliamp hours even though it's just really heavy. So you get a big battery and with RGB backlighting on, you can roughly get into three weeks of using it. So this is just really good when you're talking about, talking about battery life. And what does this also makes pretty unique and probably MKBHD is just choosing it for. Um, you can use this keyboard for your PC as I now have here at the moment. And you can also just use it with your Mac. And this is just probably one of the best mechanical keyboards you can get for your Mac 
First of all, it's just wireless. You can just go for Bluetooth 5 or you can just use the included cable. I have here, so you just get this cable. This now is not a braided cable, but um, I think the version 2 and all the other Keychrons, like the key K3, you already just can find. Um, all have a braided cable, which is just pretty good. You get this um, USB Type-C uh, cable here, which has just a 90 degree angle. And then this way you can just um, also just use it in a wired connection. So you basically have total control how you want to use it with a Mac, with a PC, wireless or wired. And on this side, there's just also something that could just improve is um, if we take a look here, we have just the USB Type-C port, which is just pretty deep into the chassis. So some USB cables are not fitting really well. So you really just need to go for the Keychron cable or just have some um, cables with a really thin sleeve, which just fitting there. So it depending on your cables. The other part is you can just switch between Mac and Windows controls, as well as shutting it off using Bluetooth or wired connection. But I would also just like that these switches would have been um, also way more improved with the version two. The version two, it's just more um, more structure on the button, so you can just easily switch them. But um, I would just have like to have a control and a switch that is just easier to, to use because at the end, I always need to look on the side if I'm now going for the wired or the uh, wireless connection and I'm always just not sure which direction is the right one, so maybe they can improve on this. Talking about the other experience, you can also just see that we have on the back just um, these two feet, so this is just way more ergonomic. Um, normally the uh, keyboard was, would just fl lie flat on the table, but the improved version just always just gets better with the in inclined bottom bracket here and the two different feeds for medium or just large, where you can just choose how high you just want to have the angle at the end. And also just talking about using it as a, as a Mac, you're probably thinking, okay, where are just my Mac keys? You also get uh, just this little package here we just have the I just do it like this where you just have the command key and all the other differences you just need you can swap out you can also just swap out these two keys here on each side so this is just right in the corner here the uh, light button as well as the escape key so these two you can just switch out for the gray versions like a round of them so this is now this not so aggressive like I have here with the orange one but I think MKBHD has a really really special decent button right where the escape key should be so this is just pretty cool. What you also get is just some papers to complete explanation which keys you can just switch um, to go from Windows to Mac or vice versa as well as a complete explanation of what you can do so um, cycling through different RGB modes I just show you in a minute as well as some other functions like having three different devices you can just connect like the Logitech Craft I have here so you can just connect three devices like your Mac your iPad and your MacBook Pro and just cycle through this and just can connect to each and every device. Now we have just talked about wireless keyboard, but it's just a mechanical wireless keyboard, which means we just need this um, key puller here right in front of me. You can you also just get this in the box and that means I have here opted for the uh, red Gateron switches, um, so this is not um, cherry switches at the end. You can just um, choose between blues like this one I fear, um, the browns, MKBHD is choosing the browns, the brown version of it and I'm just going for the red version. So I have the linear version without a click. The blue ones are the extremely clicky ones, so if you want to annoy your neighbor, just go for the blue ones. And basically the brown ones are the, the hybrid ones in the middle, so they have just a slight click, not super annoying but super intense and really comfortable to type on but um, I was just going for the red ones because, yeah, why not? I like it when it's just linear and without a click because I already have a really clicky one here. Two more things that I got when I'm just finding this keyboard is just pretty cool. The one thing is if you really, really type a lot and if you just see it here on my keyboard, I haven't used this just a lot at all. And um, But if you really wear out the keycaps here, you can just go uh, to the Keychron website and really just get a complete set of keycaps for your Keychron K2, which is just pretty awesome. Um, really inexpensive, just cost you a couple of bucks and you can just swap this out and have a complete new set 
of keycaps and they look just like new. On the other side, there's just one accessory that is just way more appealing to me because we just need to take a look here because um, the keyboard is just so high because of the frame. So this is definitely not a low profile keyboard. If you want to have a low profile keyboard, just go for the K3 that is already on the um, Kickstarter or, or uh, Indiegogo campaign. So um, this is just really a little bit hard to, to type on because your the angle your your hands are is just super super difficult. So you probably need a hand rest a hand rest here in the front of it. And Keychron also just made this, and I like the approach of it because it's also just really premium. Just look at it. They made this um, wood version of hand rest, so you can just put your hands here and just type pretty good. And I like the sound of the red switches here and the complete keyboard, so just listen to it. So I hope that you can just see it here. I just try to, I just shut this light off so you can see the RGB. Okay, so now you don't see me, but um, you hopefully just can now see the glorious RGB here right in front of me. So this is just pretty cool. Um, a lot of different modes, you can just toggle it here with your light switch like this and you have just 15 different modes and you can just choose from so in my opinion there's probably just a light for everyone and just go for the RGB version just for the lulls and yeah RGB just makes everything better so probably this is just a good idea but now ugh, switching the light back on and just finish up this video. That means I now hope that you just have a better understanding why MKBHD is just choosing these two things here right in front of me, the Logitech Master 3 and the Keychron K2 to edit his videos because these are just two really awesome peripherals to access your Mac or your PC at the end and I can totally get the idea why he is using these two things. I will just also put the links down in the video description so you can just look it up for yourself if you want to, also to the campaigns and all the other stuff I mentioned in this video and as always if you dislike this video you know what to do but if you liked it hit like down there, get subscribed and enable the notifications with the bell icon so you won't miss any future video of the idea of technology and I just want to say thank you very much for watching, have a great day. Bye.